Right, number 18, another figure not drawn to scale. Watch out for these. Two isosceles triangles are shown above. If 180 minus Z equals 2Y and Y equals 75, what is the value of X? I'm going to make this bigger. Let's really so we can draw on this puppy. Why are they called puppies? I don't know. So two isosceles triangles, and they've indicated it with their little, you know, their little hashtag marks there, their little hash lines. If 180 minus Z equals 2Y. All right. 180 minus Z equals 2Y. And Y equals 75. Well, they've told us what Y equals. We can solve for Z. First thing. That's what I'm going to do. So I go, oh, if Y is 75, I can just plug it right in there. So let's do that. 180 minus Z equals 2 times 75. 2 times 75 is 150. Then I'm going to uh, subtract 150 from both sides. And I get 30 minus Z equals 0. So 30 minus what equals 0? 30. I can go through all the algebra steps, but that one, I just want you to think about that. I go, hmm, 30 minus what would equal 0? 30, right? So Z equals 30. Okay, so now I know right there, this is 30. At this point, this Y and this triangle, honestly, the fact that Y is an isosceles triangle is part of it, it's irrelevant. It doesn't matter at all. All you needed that Y for was to tell you it was 75 and then to plug it into that number. That's it. You don't need it anymore. Now, all we need to look at is that this is an isosceles triangle and the top angle here is 30. An isosceles triangle, let's, oh, come on, it's not letting me change to an eraser. There we go. So an isosceles triangle, the big takeaway with an isosceles triangle that you need to know for this is that the base angles are congruent, always. So if this, I just rotated it. So if this top angle up here, this is angle Z, if this is 30 and these are both, you know, congruent angles, how do I find that? Well, 180 degrees total is what all these three add up to in a triangle. So what happens if I get rid of that 30 degrees? I get 150 left. So these two together equal 150 and they're identical. So you could say that as like X plus X equals, and actually let's not use X because we already have an X there. And I don't want to do that. Let's call it A. So I have A plus A equals 150. I have two A's. So 150 is going to be divided by 2. It's 75. So each of these is 75 degrees. If you want to see that written out, 2A equals 150. And you divide both sides. I'm running out of room. Divide both sides by 2A equals 75. There it is written out. So now look back at our picture. And I know this angle right here in the corner that this is 75. Well, it is making a straight line with X. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to rotate that out. So I've got this triangle. And this is, if you've said is 75 degrees. And this is X. And together they are making a straight line. A straight line has 180 degrees. So if I take away that 75, I will know what X is. So 180 minus 75 equals 105, and that is my value for X. If this was helpful or useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.